Today I'm going to show you how to make some nylon. You need a few things in order to make this. You need a couple pipettes, a pipette filler, uh, either tweezers or forceps, a small beaker, a stir rod, and 1,6 hexane diamine solution and subical chloride solution. You can also use hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid, but that's a little harder to get. First, we are going to measure out 4 cc's of the 1,6 hexane diamine and place it in the bottom of the beaker. Now after you have placed the hexane diamine in the beaker, you need to change your pipette and get ready to put the sepulchral chloride in. If you want to make colored nylon, you want to add a couple drops of food coloring to the hexane diamine. Now when you place the sepulchral chloride into the beaker, you want to make sure you have the beaker on the side and you want to drip the sepulchral chloride down the side of the beaker so that it forms a thin layer of nylon between the two chemicals. I've now measured out four cc's of the subcool chloride. I'm going to take the beaker and carefully slowly drip the subcool chloride down the side. After you have a couple cc's in there you can let the rest of it out fairly quickly and you want to make sure you put it down very carefully and make sure the chemicals do not mix or the experiment will be ruined you can see there's a very fine layer of the nylon there and you can see where the two liquids meet now we're going to attempt to take the nylon out and wrap it around a stir rod so you want to take your tweezers or forceps and reach in and make sure you go down to where the two liquids meet and you're going to grab that layer there and pull that out you can see there's a strand there the first little bit is going to be a little clumpy and what you do is you wrap a little bit around the glass or rod And after you've done that, just twist the stir rod. And you'll get a nice strand of nylon. And you want to pull it up a little bit so you can get a nice strand. Then you can pull it down the rod. Now this very small amount will probably make about 10 feet of nylon. Uh, I wouldn't really suggest making any more than this because uh, unless you're going to like be handing out the nylon, you're, there's going to be no reason to have that much. You can see there's a nice coil on there. Now after about four to five minutes of winding, uh, as you can see I've gotten a lot of nylon. It's getting near to the end. And you can tell that by seeing that the strands have become a lot smaller. And once the two liquids have run out, it will just, the string will just disappear. Just like it did there. That's the end of it. And depending on how long you want this for, you can sometimes wash it and dry it out and keep the strand but if you just leave it on the rod then it will stick together and you won't be able to do anything with it as you can see I wasn't able to wash it sufficiently and I just pulled it off the rod and it's just a clump of nylon so that's it thank you for watching and if you have any questions please comment and I'll try to get back to them please subscribe thank you